There are multiple ways to fish for Arctic char, from trolling with streamers to sight fishing with large dry flies. Sometimes you can even combine the two, creating a truly unique and exciting fishing experience. This week, we're looking back at our trip to the Payne River Fishing Camp in Northern Quebec and some of our favorite Arctic char moments. So, it's the best of the Payne River with Arctic Adventures, today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design. Able, the reel for the record books. The Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, making fishing in BC even better. And Arctic Adventures, providing memorable fishing experiences since 1969. There he is. Oh, <laughs> that ever need, eh? He's right on it. Here he goes. Oh, 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 oh got, I got him. On the dry, eh? Like up there, that, that's so neat, and they're skittering like that. Trying to tire them right out. I can get them right here or I can hold them up. This guy looks like he's just come out of the salt. He's brightly colored, good shape, lots of nice pink halos. I'll see what I can if I can get him here. I'm buttoning him here. He took it totally dry, <laughs> skittering on the surface. So we'll aim him back. We'll then go back to the sea. That's a lot of fun, like that. Skittering your fly on the surface and watching them come up and grab it. Can't beat it, all visual. So we've just come in for the shore lunch. We're just casting right off the rocks. These were underwater before. Okay, I'm just gonna try to, to turn them over for the viewers there. Not a beautiful char. Just right off the edge of the, I'll just unbutton them. But beautiful, they got all these little pink halos and just gorgeous fish. Just want to wait till they swim in this water. There he goes. Excellent. Well, I was just casting as we were going for shore lunch. These rocks were underwater this morning. So we just pulled up to have the shore lunch. You can cast, you can see the char rolling next to the shore. Boom, a couple of casts. You're into a nice fish like that, probably six, seven pounds.
Oh, now we're in trouble. Now you gotta double head it. Oh, I got a very big fish. He jumped out of the water. You remember it was saying Atlantic salmon? Try to scoop from there, I think. Okay. You get him? No. Nope. There he is. Oh, flies out. Good. Good fish too, Don. This fish went right, pulled me right into my back. You yeah, had a drag so that's set pretty tight, so. It should be a good one. And I just said, you ever catch an Atlantic salmon and went out there about, uh, I don't know, about 150 feet and jumped out of the water, like a salmon does. Well, maybe you get us. Wouldn't that be something? Because do they run in this river, Don, or you don't know? Well, they, but they they run in rivers close by, you know. So like you a cuckoo well, whacker well, there. Well, it's such a big piece of water, right? I know they could they be. It's possible. See, they really like to go back and forth back there. The well, that current's flowing through here at a pretty good pace. Yes, sir. I'm going to try and get him up now. Yeah, okay, I'm get ready, Joe. have to try the quick uh, in the head. And... Yeah. Oh, nice fish, Don. That's a nice one, eh? Yeah. yeah. That's got some girth to him. Now, see, he's a much lighter color. He's nice yeah, he's and fresh calm, in from the ocean. fresh out of the ocean, eh? Yeah. yeah. Fished him down on a cross tail like we, is it? But we let him skitter like that. Oh, I see. Hey. Okay. Same way, yeah. But then when we get him behind the boat, when we get a follow, you don't do anything until you have a follow, and then if you have a follow, then you play the, then you do this little trick. So, okay. the current's probably not quite fast enough yet, because you want a big wake. It's oh, not you want a big fast. wake. Maybe on this side of the boat, it's faster. I think. There we go. You'll get them chasing it downstream like that. Well, they're not chasing it yet, right? And yeah. then when we get them right behind the boat like this, then you strip. And when you get a chaser, you bring them right up to about this close to the boat, and then you stop and you let it dead drift for a couple of feet, and they usually and grab he'll it. And eat it. Yeah. Is it down? Oh. He's always on it. There it is. Did you get it? Yep. On a dry fly. Now, what, how about that for a technique for Arctic char? And Donald just showed you how to catch him on a dry fly. Chasing a skated dry, fed to him, fantastic. That's much more fun than catching him with a sinking line, eh, Dale? <laughs> I'll say. I'm going to bring him up. Oop. Oh, oh. That's a nice fish, Don. Oh, he pulled off, eh, Don? Yeah, he pulled off. He took so much line out, eh, with the weight of the current, eh? Well, he was almost the end of your backing. Like, that fish went, well, that was a nice fish. Yeah. But just, you know what, it, you know, rather than to just pick it up and show the people, that, yeah. that dry fly take, the way you, you work that, you know, to have them play on it, take that dry fly, how are you going to beat that? You're right, they come up in pods. <laughs> Another double header. Just another double header, Al. Oh. That was exciting. That fish took that fly right off the surface. Just boiled on it like a 
I can hardly wait. When the tide gets low, we're going to be using some dry flies and skating the fly on the surface. I can see how that would work. This guy just took that ooh, again. He pulled it off. That's good. Saved him netting him. Al, still got yours on there? Well, they really use that current, eh? Yeah, it's a nice fish, Al. <laughs> Another one on here, too. Nice. Oh, nice. I had to get them in. My arms are getting too tired. <laughs> Nice fish. There he is, rolls over. Swims away. So what we're gonna try here, we've had, uh, Donald's caught some on dry flies here. And what he has is a great big uh, a dry fly attractor pattern that he's skittering across the top of the water, kind of a ritual hi riffle hitch. Uh, and these, the fish come up behind it, there's a big bow wake you see, then he lays off and the fish will come up and take the dry fly. And you can also, sometimes it's harder for them to see, especially bright sunny day like we have here, to see that great big dry fly on the surface skittering. So you can put on, I've got a big polar bear bucktail, which they'll take right off the surface. A lot of times we'll just lift it, let it skate right on the surface and the char will take it just like a dry fly. But if for the true dry fly, I can actually attract the fish, and again, you have no problem seeing them big bow wakes behind. Donald can throw his dry fly in there and often they'll take it. So we're gonna try a little tag teaming here and see if we can't get one on the dry. Oh, right off the surface. Oh, oh. Oh, I was just dangling it there. Let me get out of your way. A ferocious take. Boy, I tell you, that's tough in this current too, trying to get him back in. You can see I got lots of heat. I'm trying to drop it back to him. Here he is again. Oh, he took it, didn't he? Yep. He took it, beautiful. Oh, nicely done, Don. Right off, this total dry, he did exactly his technique. He skittered it up there, got the fish to follow, fed it to him and he ate it. I'm just gonna get this guy, he's a good fish too. He's a nice fish. Okay, we'll take him over this side of the boat if you don't. Nice fish. Took that right off the top. Oh, there he's out. Beautiful. That's the way you like to see him come off. Nice silver char. And he took mine right off the surface too. Okay, that's good, Joe. Oof. Beautiful. That's the kind of double headers you like to have, Donald, both off the surface. He looks like a good fish too, Don. Yeah, he is. I'll try to bring him up here, Joe. Can you stay behind him? Is that a, uh, what kind of uh, dry fly did you have on there, Don? Uh, it's just a little bomber with uh, white wings, uh, deer hair body, and brown hackle. Really now, good for Atlantic salmon. Another kind of Atlantic salmon fly. Apparently eh? very good for char too. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. I'll try, I'll bring him up above you and then I'll lift him up if I can. Oh, he's a good fish. Oh, that's a nice fish, Don, on the dry. Ooh, that's like a, that looks like he's like close to 10 pounds. That's a beauty, you want to hold that baby. Yeah. Oh, nice char, Don. Is he off already? Yeah, he's yeah. Thanks, Joe. That's like a 10 pound fish. Well done, Donald. Right on the dry, <laughs> just like it said. It's nice when you can describe the technique totally as Donald did, and then he executes five minutes later. We'll keep you on camera a lot of time. If you keep doing that, Maybe you could show us dial with char later. Oh yeah, we'll do that.
two different fish. Yeah, he came to. One's trying to take mine, and one's trying to take yours. Oh, oh, there's mine. <laughs> you caught, you hooked your yeah, guy? Yeah, he took it. Mine, he's just looking, and he won't take it on the drop back. That's neat. Yeah, I got that one. Did you see there that? We go. Double it on the dry again. Right behind the boat. Oh, we got a crisscross going here. Both off the surface. Again. That was really great. This one, he we just our, right up five feet from the boat. No, 10 feet from the boat, he took it. And we had our flies right beside each other, both skittering on the surface, and ba-boom, ba-boom, different fish. Man, you got to try this. This is great, eh? Now, you're putting some heat on that. Yeah, people make fun of my little fighting stance. You do the same thing, Donald, down <laughs> and <laughs> the little squat. Another nice fish, man. Catching these all day on dry flies is... It's gotta be your Atlantic salmon experience doing that, eh? Like yeah. you use the same techniques. And okay, Joe, he's ready. Nice well, fish. I don't know if he's ready, but I, I'm gonna try it. Donald's ready, but... Oh, and you can see that dry fly just sticking out of his beak. Good job. Well done. Boy, he's got it right in the top, too, Don, right in the snouter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. Well, like I said, you described the start, you described to us how you can get them on dries, and I was a little bit reluctant to believe you that char would take a dry fly, because I used to live in the territories, and yeah. of course, we never even thought to try it, really, but they're really bait, you know, they eat bait fish, right? So yeah. you just wouldn't think you could do it. Look at that, look at that, right in the, right in the snout. Thanks. Look at that big, fluffy dry fly. <laughs> That's a nice fish, too. Good fish, man. As you've seen on today's show, Arctic char will take a dry fly, but you can catch them much easier on a streamer. So today on the bench, I'm gonna tie you up the Arctic char streamer. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're gonna use a 4X long size six streamer some 6 aught black thread to tie with, some silver Electra braid for the body, some natural polar bear as the first wing, some chartreuse polar bear for the second wing, some blue polar bear hair for the top wing, some black thread for the head, and some 5 32nd inch gold hologram eyes as the eyes. I've taken the thread and put a good base layer on my hook, and I'm going to take my silver electro braid and I'm going to start near near the eye just behind the eye because I want it fairly uniform and I want to build up the body a little bit so I'm just going to wrap over right to the rear of the hook and then I'm going to wind this electro braid forward to form the body Now that the body's tied in, I've taken a small clump of my natural polar bear hair. You don't want too much, just keep it nice and thin. I'm actually going to measure it up just past the length of the, the hook. So it's just extending, just pack the bend, cut off the excess in the front, and tie it in for the first one. Now that we have the first wing tied in, I've taken a bigger clump of my chartreuse polar bear, just a little bit more than the, the first wing, and I'm going to extend it back just a little bit further. So I want this, this back wing to be slightly tapered. So I'm going to go back just a little bit further and tie it in at the head. Once the second wing is tied in, I've taken even a little bit more of my blue polar bear. So we started with the thin white one, then a little bit more green, and now we're finishing on the top with a thicker blue patch, and again extend it a little bit past 
where the green wing ended and tied in at the head. The next step on the fly is to actually take your thread and build up a big black head on the very front of the fly. Just keep wrapping your thread to build it up and then whip finish off. Now that I've tied the head in, I've actually whip finished off my thread. I'm going to take a little bit of head cement and head cement this up pretty good. So that head is nice and finished with head cement and then I'm going to put a stick on eye on either side. Finish the fly off, I now have my eyes onto the fly and they're stuck on the on the thread, but we actually want to build it up a bit. So I'm gonna take some some hard as nails finish and I'm just gonna dab this around the eyes and onto the head just so these eyes stay in place. And I'll give it a couple of coats. So I'll let it dry for about 10 minutes and then I'll coat it again. I'll keep building up the head until it's finished. So there it is, the finished Arctic Char streamer. I wasn't able to make this trip, but I'm really hoping to get up there one day so I can take some of these patterns and go and bang some of those big Arctic char. Always remember, when you're out in the wild, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. To watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.